वेलकम टू डी एन यू योर डेली डोज ऑफ न्यूज इन अट शेल स्टे इनफॉर्म्ड स्टे अहेड ज्वाइन अस एज वी ब्रिंग यू द लेटेस्ट हेडलाइंस टॉप स्टोरीज एंड इंट्रीगिंग इन साइट्स गेट रेडी टू पावर अप योर डे विद डी एन यू लेट्स टाइव इन टू द टूडेज टॉप न्यूज फर्स्ट न्यूज इजरेली प्राइम मिनिस्टर बेंजामिन नेतन याहू ऑन मंडे मेट टेस्ला सीईओ एलोन मस्क इन द यूएस Musk gave the Israeli PM and his wife Sara Netanyahu a tour of the Tesla factory in Fremont, California. The trio also took a ride in the yet to be released Cybertruck around the factory. Second news, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan met Tesla CEO Elon Musk in New York and invited him to establish the automaker's seventh factory in Turkey. Pictures showed Musk interacting with Erdogan while carrying his son XA812 in his arms As per the Turkish government Musk said the country is among the most important candidates for Tesla's next factory Third news General Motors CEO Mary Barrett told CNN that 92% of her nearly 30 million dollar compensation is based on the performance of the company Her response came after being asked why the company's workers aren't getting a 34% pay hike like she has received over the last 4 years. Workers are currently striking against the company over pay and other benefits. Fourth news, X removed blue check mark of us United Auto Workers UAW union after thousands of its members went on strike against three of America's biggest car makers simultaneously for first time. UAW's blue tick was restored later allegedly after the story began circulating widely According to Excess policy the tick is removed if an account changes its profile picture which UAW had Fifth news thousands of members of United Auto Workers UAW union went on strike against three of America's biggest car makers simultaneously for the first time The action comes after a deadlock in negotiations between the union and the company's General Motors, Ford and Stellantis. The UAW has demanded a 40% wage hike for its members as well as greater job security. Sixth news, Union Minister Nitin Gadkari said the government isn't looking to increase tax on diesel vehicles but is encouraging green fuel usage. I'm not against diesel or diesel cars. I'm not advocating for a tax increase on diesel vehicles but we should move towards green fuels he told CNBC TV 18 farmers who have been our annata can now also become our power data comma he said seventh news center is planning on making it mandatory for all devices to support home grown navigation system navisi navigation with indian constellation more is for it rajiv chandra sekhar said Isro's Navisi, powered by seven satellites, provides coverage of India and neighboring areas, including the Indian Ocean. The government plans to provide incentives for making navic power chips in system design. Eighth news: Electric vehicle maker Tesla plans to source components worth up to 1.9 billion dollars (15,700 crore rupees) from India this year. Minister of Commerce. and industry piyush goyal said on wednesday he said this at the 63rd annual session of the automotive component manufacturers association of india ninth news union minister nitin gadkari said that the government won't make the six airbags rule mandatory for car makers it is now for the market and people to decide everyone is already making cars with six airbags there is no need to make it mandatory gadkari said But now people are cautious people will prefer to take the cars with six airbags he added 10th news an EV built by students from at Zurich and Lucerne University has set a new world record after the vehicle accelerated from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in under 1 second while covering a distance of 12.3 meters the EV named Mythen was being driven by Kate Maggetti It broke the previous world record of 1.461 seconds set in September 2022. 11th news, Hyundai Motor and Kia Corp are requesting a US court to dismiss lawsuits from 17 cities regarding their failure to incorporate anti-theft tech in their vehicles. 
The claims came after numerous Hyundai and Kia vehicles were stolen, a trend popularized on TikTok. The automakers claim the city's weak law enforcement policies are more to blame. Twelfth News, Tata Motors MD, Passenger Vehicles, and Electric Vehicle Mobility, said the company would continue with diesel cars till there are customers. He said this after Union Minister Nitin Gadkari on Tuesday said the government will have no option but to increase tax on diesel vehicles and make their sales difficult if manufacturers don't limit their production. 13th News, Union Minister Nitin Gadkari said, Say bye-bye to diesel soon, otherwise we will increase so much tax that it will become difficult to sell diesel cars. Speaking at an automaker's conference in Delhi, he termed diesel as a hazardous fuel. Gadkari also noted that the number of diesel cars has fallen to 18% in 2023 from 53% in 2014. 14th News Union Minister Nitin Gadkari issued a clarification after reports said there is a proposal to impose an additional 10% GST on sale of diesel vehicles. It is essential to clarify, there is no such proposal currently under active consideration by the government, he said. It is imperative to actively embrace cleaner and greener alternative fuels, the minister further wrote in his post. 15th News, Tesla shares jumped nearly 6% to $262.70 per piece after Morgan Stanley analysts predicted that the Elon Musk-led company's Dojo supercomputer could boost the company's market value by $600 billion. Dojo helps train AI models for autonomous cars. The analysts said, if Dojo can help make cars see and react, what other markets could open up? 16th News, Union Minister for Road Transport and Highways Nitin Gadkari has said that he is requesting Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman to impose a 10% additional GST on diesel engine vehicles. This is the only way to phase out diesel vehicles, Gadkari said. The additional tax will be imposed as a pollution tax to discourage the usage of diesel run vehicles and generators. 17th News, Tesla's upcoming $25,000, around 21 lakh rupees, electric car and robotaxi will have futuristic design like the company's Angular Cybertruck, a report said citing Elon Musk's biographer Walter Isaacso. When one of these comes around the corner, people will think they're seeing something from the future, Musk reportedly said. The $25,000 car is part of Tesla's goal for more affordable EVs. 18th News, Anand Mahindra took to X on World EV Day to share the story of Mahindra Group's first e-vehicle Bijli. He said the three-wheeler was created by Mr. Nagarkar in 1999. It was his gift to us before retirement, he wanted to do something for the planet, Bijli, sadly, was way ahead of its time and we bid goodbye to it, Mahindra added. 19th News, an electric Nikola semi-truck caught fire near the company's headquarters in the U.S., the automaker said on Friday. This was reportedly the second such incident in a week. The company's shares are currently about 15% down and have dipped about 55% since August when it recalled 209 battery-powered electric trucks over fire concerns. 20th News, Flaunting Head Turner Design, Absolute Safety Futuristic tech, plush comfort, and exciting performance, the new Nexon is all set to disrupt the market with many segment-first features, Tata Motor said. Notably, the SUV is being offered in four distinct personas pure, smart, creative and fearless, and the bookings for the new Nexon are now open. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe our channel. We are also available on Spotify and Amazon Music.